Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. In this video, I'll be talking about 13 helpful tools and applications that you can use if you are a student or if you're a working professional or if you just want to up your productivity game. All of these are going to be free to get started with. I have been using them for a long, long time. So I'll be sharing my personal experience with each of them. So make sure that you watch till the end because at the end, I'll be having a special bonus application for you if you stick till the end of this video. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and starting out with the first application, it's actually a Chrome extension. Basically, we all know how cluttered WhatsApp has become. There are tons of messages. Let's say you're talking with a client on WhatsApp. You'll be having your papa talking to you. You'll be having some friend talking to you all at the same time. It's just really hard to focus on one task at a time. And that's where I found this application or this Chrome extension called as Kubi. And with that, you can basically divide all of your conversations depending on its type. Right? So let's say you're talking with a client that is going to be in the work tab. Let's say you're talking with your family that is going to be in the family tab. It just makes my life so easy. Easy. that's why I use it every single day um, all of us who are students are using whatsapp on a day-to-day -day basis and this one tool can be really helpful for you so you can take a look at that as well most people spend countless hours accessing different websites this leads to various passwords notes files across various different systems and tens of browser tabs open all at once identity is here to simplify the internet for you identity is your home screen on the internet it allows you to organize and access everything you do on the internet in one place. I can search for different categories. For example, for work, I can look at AngelList and Defolio or let's say I want to do shopping so I can search for shopping or let's say I want to learn something so I can search for that. It just makes it really simple for me to access different websites all at one place. I can simply click on this tile to launch that particular website. Now when you click a tile, the password is automatically copied. So you can just click on here and you can log in to your website. Now on the top right, as you can see right here, you can view all the different categories that you might have, email, fun, invest, learn, as you can see on your screen. You can also take a look at the notes and list tab right here. You can click on this and you can check out all the different notes and tasks and you can complete them like this and you can also add the due date over there and you can link the particular application on which you need to complete that task. And that is how easy it is for you to manage all the different websites you access all at one place with the help of identity. You can start using it for free with the link in the description. I think identity is a great way for you to be mindful and intentional for what you want to consume on the internet. Huge thanks to identity for sponsoring this part of the video, but let's move on to the next part. The next tool is going to be extremely important for people who are trying to write properly English, people who are maybe trying to create some research papers, maybe you're trying to write some assignments, some presentation, or maybe you're trying to form a proper formal email or you just want to send a text to someone, it's really helpful if you can use something called as Grammarly. You might have seen a ton of ads for the same. It's free for you to get started with. I have been using it for two years now. It's really beneficial for me. I always double check with the help of Grammarly before I send some text to people who are related to my work. So basically all the clients that I have, I make sure that whatever I'm sending to them, is proper because you know all of these small things do add up in the future if you can prevent these minor mistakes from happening it will leave a great impact in the mind of the person that you're trying to talk to so do take a look at grammarly it also offers you suggestions for what words are more adequate for this particular sentence or this particular paragraph that you're trying to use so take a look at that Grammarly is a great tool. Next one is going to be Notion extension. You all know how much I love Notion. I've made, I think two to three videos now about Notion, uh, but particularly I'll be talking about the Notion Chrome extension that you can get for free with the help of the Chrome extension, particularly whenever you are looking at some blog, whenever you're looking at some news article, you can always save it. Whenever you find something important, you can just save it into your workspace. You can go into Notion and you can read it in the dark mode, which I absolutely love. You can also disable all the ads. So whenever you're viewing the same article on Notion, there will be no ads and you can properly view the information that is important. So again, this is huge time saver for me. In the morning, I just look at all the articles I want to read. I save them on Notion and I go back to Notion and I read all of them one by one and it just saves me a ton of time. So that is going to be another great application that you can use. The next tool I started using very recently, it's called as Get Liner. Basically, this is a highlighting tool that you can use around the internet. Wherever you go, if you find something important, if you see a line that is important, if you see a statistic that is important, you can actually highlight it and you can save it. And you can do a bunch of different things with the help of Get Liner. This is just me scratching the surface. 
It's free for you to get started with and you can explore tons of different options that it provides. I recently got it and I've been using it a ton for whatever research work I have to do whenever I'm making videos. So it definitely saves me a lot of time. The next one is for all of those people who love creating roadmaps, flowcharts, or just create structured data and that is going to be whimsical i have been using whimsical for the past one year now i think it's a great tool that helps me create organized content i can basically look at exactly what am i doing right now i love creating these flowcharts that tell me what is my business looking like what is my youtube channel looking like and where do i want to take it in the future all in a very visual manner okay it's very easy to use it's free to use and i've just been enjoying using whimsical next tool is going to be for people who are either in their 11th or 12th grade or are doing engineering and are in college we all know how complicated differentiation and integration is and that's why i've been using this website called as integration calculator the best part about this is that it actually gives you steps for every single problem that you submit and that can be really helpful for you to learn what technique they are using. You can look at the different graphs it creates for the derivative as well as for the antiderivative and you can look at a ton of different settings that it has with which you can do a lot of different complex differentiation and integration. So a great tool for all of us who are doing engineering or are preparing for IIT JE. The next tool is going to be incredibly important for people who are doing engineering specifically into math based courses, physics based courses or electrical engineering based courses. We all know how complicated these formulas can get and in order to practice properly and check the solution you can use something called as Wolfram Alpha which is an engine that you can use to get access to various different formulas, various different uh, you know graphs you can see and that is going to be really helpful for you if you're just trying to practice and get better at a particular concept in engineering based courses. So do take a look at this. It has a lot of different formulas. I'm not going to go into that, but yes, it is definitely useful if you are into electrical engineering or just engineering based courses particularly. Now that we're talking about making graphs and stuff, you should totally take a look at something called as Desmos, which is an application on which you can plot graphs. You can plot multiple graphs on the same page and you can see how they are performing and how they are interacting with, with each other. It's really helpful for people who are into maths, people who are doing math based courses. So do take a look at this. I have used it a ton for whatever courses I have in my university and it will be great for you if you're also preparing for your IIT JE exams. So do take a look at that. Um, it's called as desmos.com. I'll have the links of all of these tools in the description. You can take a look at them if you're interested. By the way, if you are liking this video, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well. The next application is going to be really important and that is going to be Calendly. I still remember back in 2019 when I was inviting an entrepreneur for a podcast on my channel. They just basically asked, okay, what time works for you? I just said, okay, this is what time I'm free in. And they just replied by saying, nah, ye time ko sahi lagta. tell me some other time. And I was saying, okay, how about this time? Then they were saying, yeah, okay, this works. Then tomorrow they say that, no, this is not working. Tell me a different time. It was just not working out for us. And then that entrepreneur just said, hey, you know what? Try using Calendly and send me a Calendly link. I didn't know what Calendly was. I just looked it up and I found out that Calendly is a tool that you can use to create your own link with which people can schedule meetings with you, right? And there are a bunch of different features with the help of Calendly, but particularly talking about this feature is the main one. And I have been using it since 2019, every single day, whoever wants to do a session with me, just schedule a meeting with me, they will use this link that I have. And with the help of this, they can schedule a 15 minute meeting, they can schedule a 30 minute meeting, or they can also schedule a one hour meeting for me. And this really helps me make sure that I'm not overburdening myself. Previously, I just used to do meetings all day long, but now I have a pretty nice schedule. I'll be doing meetings from this time to this time. And other time is just going to be for me to just reflect on whatever I'm working on. So that's what you can also use. It's really helpful for people who are working professionals. Maybe you're working with a client. Maybe you're working with people who are outside of India. So for them also it's going to be really helpful. So let me be talking about it's really helpful for me. This is what got me started into the whole social media management field. This is what got me started with making thumbnails for my own channel. And it's a great tool for you to use. It's called as Canva. You can use it for free. You can go to its website. You can use its app. It's a great tool for creating any designs, right? Previously, I used to be afraid of designs. I was not a visual aesthetic kind of a person. But when I started using Canva, I realized that using 
Canva, I can actually create great designs without having a lot of knowledge about designs in the first place. It has a bunch of templates that you can use. It has a bunch of, it has a very nice learning curve. That's what I would say, right? So once I used Canva for a couple of months, I was very easily able to go to other tools, like for example, Figma, right? When I had to create a portfolio, when I had to create a prototype for a website, I used Figma to create it, but because I had a nice experience with Canva, I was able to nicely transition between Canva to Figma. But anyways, Canva is great for you to get started with if you are into Instagram social media management, or if you like to create Instagram content, you can do it with the help of Canva. You can do a bunch of different things with Canva. I've made a video as well in which I've talked about how can you start freelancing with Canva. So do take a look at that with the link in the description if you're interested. But moving on, let's talk about the next application. The next is going to be Google's own suite that includes Google Docs, Google Sheets, as well as Google Presentation or whatever they call it. But with the help of these three tools, you can quickly create some documents and it just makes everything very easy, right? Um, previously, I used to find a lot of different complicated note-taking applications and stuff like that. And then I found out Docs. It's just really fast for you to just take down some notes and just write some stuff down. And then later you can use it for your own purpose. I know a lot of you would already know about this, but I just wanted to make sure that we are on the same page. So do take a look at Google Suite if you have not already. You do not need to use Microsoft's paid office suite. You, you can just use the Google suite. Moving on, we have the last application on list and this is going to be Lightshot. With the help of Lightshot, you can properly take screenshots only for a particular region, not for the whole screen. I remember previously with the help of the native application installed in Windows as well as, uh, you know, my MacBook, I used to create the complete I used to take the complete screenshot of the screen, then I used to crop it, then I used to send it to someone. But with the help of this, you can easily just take a screenshot of that location itself that you want to share with someone and you can just share it very easily. But that is what I have. These were the 13 different applications that you can use. There are a ton of more applications that I can share with you, but tell me if you like this video and you want me to make more of these in the comment section. The bonus application that you can use is going to be Deep Stash. It's basically a website that you can visit and you can get ideas from various different authors or just entrepreneurs or just like people who are actually learning something new. They can just share something. You yourself can share a new idea and you can share it with people. So do take a look at that as well if you're interested. I have been finding some really interesting content over there, some deep content, right? If you are ready for that deep level content, do take a look at this. But that's all I have for you today. Let me know what do you think about all of these in the comment section? What was the one new application that you found out for students? Let me know about that as well. If you're still watching, just say I watched till the very end. Also take a look at identity with the link in the description. It's a great tool for you to be focused and be mindful of whatever you are doing on the internet. Take a look at the link in the description for that as well. That's all I have for you today. You can take a look at my Instagram as well as Twitter. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.